Hey guys and girls, welcome to Zilla Cabs. In this video today we're taking a look at Celestian's G12H150 Redback. So this is one of Celestian's more recent designs coming out a year or two ago and it's their way of making a high powered speaker um, but still falling within that classic Celestian voice that we all know and love. So as the name suggests, this uh, speaker has a power rating of 150 watts which is massive in, in terms of um, sort of regular guitar speakers. Um, so in theory you could plug most 100 watt, 150 watt heads into just a 1x12 with this speaker and um, yeah, it should handle it with ease. They've done this by using a 2 inch voice coil and using the heaviest magnet that Celestian make on the back of the speaker and sometimes upgrading these parts can leave speakers sounding a little bit clinical or um, sterile but they've managed here to make a speaker that sits in alongside the cream backs and the green backs in terms of voicings um, but still with that massive 150 watt power handling rating. So at the start you hear me playing the Strat uh, with a bit of drive over a loop. Um, let's clean things up and see what we get. So I'm playing through the Mesa Boogie Stiletto on 100 watts and that speaker's just swallowing that sound up and throwing it out for me um, in a good way. With such a high headroom speaker, it's really responsive to pick attack. So if I pick really gently, it's all quiet and if I whack the guitar, it just jumps straight out. So that's a really exciting sound to play. That being said, it's still got that classic Celestian warm voicing to me. Um, I know I say that a lot in these videos, but I think it is a trait of Celestian where it's they, um, some of that top end, it's not shrill or, or ice picky. It's just a really pleasing loud uh, treble. So it's still on the clean here. Uh, I'm going to change the Les Paul and see what this sounds like. Cool, so I think it's fair to say this speaker can do all the clean stuff really well. Um, but I'm guessing that this isn't what most people are going to be buying this speaker for. So let's, let's up the gain with the humbuckers and see, uh, see what kind of rock sounds we get. Bye. 
So I think that's what this speaker's telling me it's all about. Um, that classic uh, Celestian rock kind of voice with a load of mid detail. Um, yeah, just sounds really great for that for me. We've got the speaker loaded into our compact 1x12 cab here that we use a lot for testing. Um, then this is an open back cab, so not quite the uh, usual setting for a, for a rock voice. Um, but let's up the gain a bit more and see what we get. With an open back cab, you can sometimes lose a little bit of punch and definition in the low end. Um, so sometimes things get a little bit muddy, which is not always ideal for a rock sound. Um, but let's let's dial the gain up a bit more and see see what we get here. <laughs> So that's straight into channel 2 on the stiletto, um, a lot more gain, handling it really well but I think for that kind of sort of sound we want to get it into a closed back cab so let's go ahead and do that now. Alright so this is our closed back cab for this video, this is our fat baby 1x12. Using a similar sound on the stiletto let's see uh, how, how the changing cab makes a difference with the closed back. <laughs> So it's a lot tighter in the bottom end, um, especially in the room here to me, um, which means I think I can afford to dial dial in a bit more low end with the um, with the amp. Uh, let's try a lower tuning as well. Um, see how this speaker handles this sort of stuff. So loads of clarity and dynamic headroom there, um, plenty of bottom end and still got that rich mid-range character that we used to from Celestian speakers. Um, so if you're a fan of like cream backs and green back speakers, I think this is a sound that you might be familiar with um, and one, one worth considering if you're looking for a, a 1x12 with a, with a 100 watt head or something like that. And somehow with this being a 150 watt speaker, we're still getting some of that um, what feels like speaker compression. Now with some lower output speakers, uh, the louder you play, as you reach the threshold of what they can handle, you start to get some compression, so the dynamics decrease. That can be a really pleasing effect um, and um, really help the way the, the way you play, the way your pick dynamics come out. And somehow they're still managing to, to do that, uh, convey that feeling here with 150 watt speakers, so that's really nice to see. So with these being, as, as I say, a high power handling speaker, we've seen these become really popular with people who use Canva profiling amplifiers. So I thought this would be a good chance to plug one of those in, flick through a few different sounds and see how it handles going between different amps with the Kemper. All right, so we've got the Kemper plugged in. Uh, this is a profile that I made of my Marshall JMP. So uh, let's check it out. <laughs>
So one of the attributes you often find of high power handling speakers is that they tend to be a little bit uh, flatter in terms of EQ, um, which means for Kemper users, uh, they can be a little bit more transparent to allow your different uh, profiled amps, the qualities of the different amps to come across through the speaker. So I think the Marshall was sounding pretty cool there. Let's try a, I think I've got a Bogner Ecstasy lined up here. <laughs> So it sounded really nice and meaty like an SC does there. Um, one thing to note that is when you're playing through a traditional guitar cab with a Kemper, it kind of underlines how important the sound of the cab and the speaker is in the signal chain. Compared to if you were sat at home with a Kemper listening through studio monitors or even through a full PA. If you wanted to try and get a sound of like maybe you've got a profile of a, a Fender Champ or something or some sort of Fender amp where they traditionally use pine cabs and maybe smaller speakers, 10 inch or 8 inch speakers, you aren't going to be able to approximate those kind of sounds um, accurately I think with, with um, when you're playing through a cab that's completely different build structure. So, this cab here is made out of birch ply and it's got a 12 inch speaker um, whereas like yeah fender combo typically would be made out of pine with a floating baffle and maybe 210 or or whatever so yeah just something to bear in mind uh, when you're playing through a camper uh, and your cab and you're flicking through different amps they can become a little bit more homogenized than if you were listening through your, your studio monitors so for example here I've Changed over to a 1962 Fender Deluxe Reverb, and this profile, uh, the amp was pretty cranked, so we're getting a fair amount of gain out of it. Um, but as you hear, coming out of the speaker, it doesn't sound exactly like a Fender combo would, so um, I'll, I'll show you what it sounds like. <laughs> So a lot, a lot more bottom end and a little bit more squashed dynamically than a, than a Fender cab might be. So that's just something to bear in mind when you're flicking through different amps on the Kemper using a regular guitar speaker and a regular guitar cab. Having said all that, I think this speaker does a great job of showing what the Kemper can do. And given that power handling, you're going to be able to turn up pretty loud as well before you, before you run into trouble. Uh, I think you're going to run into trouble with your ears before anything else. So in summary then, I think this is a great new design from Celestian. Um, something that sits in the, the lineup really well. And to put it in perspective, a 1x12 cab with one of these in would be the same as a classic 4x12 and a half of greenback speakers. So six greenback speakers with the same power handling as one of these. So if you've got like a 100 watt head or something and you just want to carry a smaller cab to the gig, then this is certainly a speaker you should be looking at. So thanks for watching. Um, please leave me a comment below of what you thought of this, how this speaker sounds. Uh, if you've got any experience with it, I'd love to hear about that. Please hit the subscribe button, the bell icon for notifications, and give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Uh, thanks very much, and we'll see you next week for another video.